The subject of nature has been a recurring theme in the arts throughout history. Due to the importance of nature in the everyday lives of mankind, it is without recourse that there exists a strong relationship between man and the natural world that surrounds him. In the piece The Eight Immortals of the Wine Cup, the relationship between man and nature is lucidly depicted through the evident natural scenery and the underlying spiritual theme. The work is a rather extensive pair of pigment on gold six-fold Japanese screens from the Momoyama period, created around 1600. The Momoyama period was an age of Japanese renaissance in which there was a desire for rich aesthetics as well as a later counter-ideology of rustic simplicity illustrated by weathered and imperfect settings with strong influences from the Taoist philosophy. This artistic piece robustly depicts the Xian, or immortals, which according to legend were high society individuals who achieved immortality through the enhancement of body and mind. They came to embody Taoism, encouraging followers to seek inner peace. The Taoist religion is characterized by a concentration on nature and the forces of the universe. The Eight Immortals of the Wine Cup is a work with strong Taoist influences as it emphasizes man in harmony with nature. The Eight Immortals are gathered around tables, chairs, and a folding screen, all of which are customary of interior settings. However, this scene takes place outdoors in nature, with the figures surrounded by rocks, plants, trees, mountains, and rushing water. They are abandoning convention by leaving their suffocating, enclosed, aristocratic lives and seeking sanctuary in nature. They are also depicted with a degree of frivolity, drinking wine, because communal drunkenness was seen as a measure of enlightenment and Taoist transcendence of the universe. The concept of escaping indoor spaces and carrying out daily life in the natural world was a significant element of Taoist philosophy and understanding. Many of these natural world influences came from China, as the Taoist belief originated there. Chinese artists also had a strong evocation of the natural atmosphere. During the Momoyama era, the Japanese had a remarkable period of interaction with the outside world throughout Europe and Asia, and this particular work demonstrates the Chinese influence. The Japanese assimilated ideas but also created their own distinct artistic style. Their expression was based on a desire for dynamic spirit and a degree of informative communication. The Eight Immortals of the Wine Cup exemplifies the vitality of nature as communicated in Taoism. In this relationship, man seeks out nature as a sort of refuge or escape. The detailed lines and forms yet simple composition balance out to create an effect of man at comfort in nature and almost entreat man to diverge to a life surrounded by the natural world. Overall, the Eight Immortals of the Wine Cup very powerfully demonstrates the relationship between man and nature as a pacifying escape and follows the spirit of its time with the Taoist influences. However, it also embodies a timeless message regarding the essence and potency of nature. Macy, Macy what? So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Great, harmony with the earth and sky. So like Connor, did you get to select your, the artwork that you wanted to write about? Yeah. And what drew you to this piece? Well, I think I've always felt a certain affinity to Asian art, probably due to cultural heritage. But mm -hmm. this piece really stood out because it possessed like a sort of rustic feeling and also a feeling of how beautiful the unpredictability of nature is. So I decided to pick this piece to write about. Nature, what is it that, um, what do you think it says about nature? And is there anything it's said about nature that surprised you or that uh, gave you any fresh insights into nature? Uh, well, this piece actually deals with nature in respect to the Taoist rel religion, like the philosophy. Mm -hmm. And it really opened my eyes to that philosophy particularly because I hadn't learned a lot about it before. And I really enjoyed how they thought that harmony and a balance with the universe was the way to achieve immortality and inner peace with yourself. And I think that's actually really prevalent with our society considering how much time we spend indoors with our technological age. <laughs> so. Did it inspire you to want to go out more and, and, and look at nature and sort of see where you fit into the grand scheme? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a, it is very peaceful. Does it make you, how does it make you feel inside when you look at that? Uh, well, when I look at it, it actually is like, um, well, it's from the Momoyama period of Japanese art, which was a period that was finding the balance between um, sumptuous art. So you can still see there's a gold background mm -hmm. and the balance between simplicity. So I feel like it, it gives me a good balance inside between these two opposite poles, and it feels pretty good. That's great. Did it inspire you to want to see more art of that period and that time? Yeah, I actually looked up a lot of the... Um, Taoist art from the oldest, um, like from the creation of the religion to modern art for the Taoist religion, as well as a lot of other Japanese pieces to get to understand the feel of this um, type of art. Well, thank 
you so much. Thank you for sharing your insights. Beautifully done. Thank you. Thank you.